What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So today I want to share with you guys a few tips on how to use a VPN for League of Legends or any game in general, really. Uh, and also share with you guys some of the best VPNs that you can use, which I'll talk a little bit about later. We've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Okay, so the main thing you want to keep in mind, by the way, when using a VPN for gaming in general, is you want to make sure that the VPN server that you're connected to is as close as possible to your game server. So what this will do is that it'll shorten the distance between the VPN server and the game server, naturally improving your ping. Uh, so if you're uh, having ping issues, if you're having lag issues, if you're just really not having a good time gaming, then it's worth playing on a VPN, uh, connecting to a VPN server, again, that is as close as possible to the um, game server. And uh, let's see here. So let's say, let's just go and uh, see what the issue is. Let's just see where the locations are here. So let's just say you're in, um, let's just say Ireland, okay? For the sake of the example, let's say you're in Ireland. I don't think there are any Irish servers as far as I know. It doesn't look like there is one. So the closest one to Ireland seems to be the German server. So in this case, uh, let's just make sure. Okay, so it's in Frankfurt. So we'll go here. We'll just zoom in to Frankfurt and it should be as simple as that. Now, if I go to my IP address finder, let's just wait for it to connect. So now that I'm connected, if I go to any IP finder, really, it'll interpret as if I'm in Germany myself, specifically Frankfurt. So um, now that I'm connected to the VPN server that is closest to the League of Legends server, according to leagueoflegends.fandom.com, and no matter what client you're playing on, just make sure that you're matching the same region. Uh, just make sure that you're matching the same region and you should be good to go. I think the game will automatically just detect that you're in Frankfurt, for example, if you're connected to Frankfurt, um, and it will process you as such. But just in case, just double check on your client, make sure that you're connected to the right region, even in your client, not just the VPN. Now, as far as which one of these VPNs could be the best choice for you, let's talk a little bit about that to help you make that informed decision. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming. Or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's 5 device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limit. 
limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.